Hey, it's Mike Vernon, and we're here at the, well, the American Center for Mobility uh, for a demonstration with TARDAC, which is uh, Army Command and Warren, uh, Detroit Arsenal, and I'm with the new director of TARDAC, Jeffrey Langhout, who came here from uh, Huntsville, Alabama. As soon as he starts to talk, you'll realize that. So, uh, how you all doing today? <laughs> well, thanks for the good welcome there. So, uh, life is good in Michigan. I've been on the ground now uh, about eight days and uh, in the job um, as the TARDAC director now since Monday. And I can tell you, it has just been, um, I'm just like a kid in a candy store. It has been that much fun. I am uh, so impressed with the mission and the work, and more importantly, the people that are doing the work up here. I've just been uh, going nonstop, you know, 6.30 to 5.30 every day, just, just loving getting to meet the folks and seeing the tremendous things that we're doing here. And, uh, um, excited to become this organization's strongest advocate and, and hopefully best salesperson uh, to help our Army leadership just see how critical path we are to the success of our Army, both not only for stuff today and, and the readiness of the Army today, but obviously what people tend to think of the TARDEC as, which is the future technologies. You know, we, we, we live in both, we live in both, both worlds, readiness today and modernization for our future. Philosophically, you know, I understand what the Army is supposed to do, and I believe I understand you know, what TARDEC's role is to ensure in the future of our, of our Army and therefore the future of our, the future of our uh, security of our nation. And absolutely, and now that Detroit automakers and uh, geez, everybody else is so focused on connected and autonomous vehicles. I mean, that's really what's driving Detroit. Right. You have all the major OEMs are somewhere in the area doing something in this particular space, and right. a lot of them are participating here with the American Center. Right. So that's going to be really good for you to work with the Detroit folks, right? Well, that's the, that's the reason we're here, right? I mean, this is the center of the universe for. Uh, for, for automotive technology, what I learned this morning, uh, Planet M, right? right. They gave me Planet that this M, morning. Yes. So I'm, uh, I'm on board, but uh, yeah, so so we're in the perfect spot to do the perfect thing. And uh, the way I look at it is uh, our commercial partners, you know, they're figuring out these really hard problems to go up and down the road and deal with the general public, right? The Army needs that, but then there's a, you know, we have an, a, 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 an equally more difficult problem. We got to go where there aren't any roads right? and where, where people aren't excited to see us even in many cases. Shooting at you in some cases, yes. That's so, right. Uh, so, so we've got to, so we are thankful for the partnership we have with industry and academia to A, you know, benefit from what they're doing for the general public and then take that and then adapt it to what we need to do, which is what we're doing here, right? You right. know, I mean, we got to figure out how to merge in autonomy and, and all the things we're doing here. And frankly, we need to get soldiers out of some of these vehicles that are in these convoys so they can do other things um, to ensure the security of our nation. And one of those is platooning. I know that it, across the country, long haul truckers, there's something like 250,000 job openings. So I know the commercial industry is going to be very, very interested in what you come up with. And as you know, in, in your early briefings, uh, you guys have been experimenting with this now for a couple of years, still has a ways to go. But I think it has great promise for the commercial sector. Well, absolutely. And that's where we think, you know, the work that we're doing, turn around and plow it back onto the commercial side. Because you're right. Uh, there's. The economy is so strong. There's so much product and commerce that needs to go on, and there's there's, there's not enough people to move it around, right? And right. so, uh, so we've got to find ways to, to to do that, and we're glad to partner. You know, pushing the technology back the other way. All right. Well, that's uh, Jeff or Jeffrey. Which do you prefer? I prefer Jeff. Okay, Jeff Langhout, who's the new director of Tidec, just started this week. Uh, yes, sir. Welcome to Michigan. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to a great adventure.